Philip Whalen was born in Portland, Oregon in October 1923. He grew up in a small Columbia town, river town, and attended public schools. By the age 16, Whalen began writing poetry and was inspired by William Carlos Williams. After attending the U.S. Army Air Corps during World War II, he returned to attend Reed College to study creative writing. He became friends with Lee Welch and Gary Snyder, who also helped his development in writing. In the 1950s, Whalen moved to San Francisco Bay Area working jobs to support himself while also giving himself time to focus on his writing. During this period, he met Allen Ginsberg and Jack Kerouac. Whalen was often labeled a beat poet because his first achievements were during the years when beat literature thrived. As one of the major figures during the beat generation, he was generally considered one of the pioneering forces behind the San Francisco poetry renaissance. In 1955, he was a participant in the historical Sixth Gallery reading, where he read with Kerouac, Ginsberg, Snyder, Lamantia, and Michael McClure. His poetry appeared in Donald Allen's New American Poetry Anthology. Whalen was also one of his one of the first Americans to study Buddhism in Japan. After returning back from Japan, he became a student of Shrungru Suzuki Roshi's, and in 1990s, he served as the head teacher at Hartford Street Zen Center in San Francisco. Although Whalen was not widely known as the other beats, he was the sharpest writer in the group. His writing style is known to be warm, humane, and often funny. In 1984, he became a monk and then soon the head monk at Durham Sangha in New Mexico. Then in 1991, he returned to San Francisco to lead the Hartford Zen Center until forced by sickness to retire. Japanese Tea Garden Golden Gate Park in Spring 1. I come to look at the cherry blossoms for the last time. 2. Look up through flower branching diva world, happy ignorance. 3. These blossoms will be gone in a week, I'll be gone long before. That is to say the cherry trees will blossom every year, but I'll, be, I'll disappear for good one of these days. There, that's all about the absolute permanence of the most impossibly fragile, delicate, and fleeting object, objects. By objects, I mean this man who is writing the stars, baked ham, as well as the cherry blossoms. This doesn't explain anything. The bay trees were about to bloom. For each of us there is a place wherein we will tolerate no disorder. We habitually clean and reorder it, but we allow many other surfaces and regions to grow dusty, rank, and wild. So I walk as far as a clump of bay trees beside the creek's milky sunshine to hunt for the words under the stones, blessing the demons also that they may be freed from hell and demonic being. As I might be a cop, I'll, I'll right move among or along, folks. It's all over now. Nothing more to see. Just keep moving right along. I can move along also. Bring your little self and come on. What I wanted to see was a section of creek where the west bank is a smooth basalt cliff. Huge tilted slabs sticking out of the mountain. Rocks on the opposite side channel. Oh, all the water which moves fast, not more than a foot deep, without sloshing or foaming. 